In this video, we will show you how to configure the Wi-Fi Plus Kit panel and monitor. An important notice highlighted with a yellow sticker indicates that these kits are only suitable for low power electric strikes, i.e. at 12 volt DC. They cannot request more than 250 milliamps from the panel. The panel is already configured by default as master panel. As dip switch 1 is on and as panel 1, as dip switch 2 is on. Only if an additional panel is added to the kit in the new panel, we would have to change dip switch 1 and 2 to off to make it the slave panel number 2 and slave, as there should only be one master panel in the installation. Dip switch 3 allows you to associate the output push button with the direct opening of the electric lock release or with the activation of the relay. On, the push button would activate the electric lock release and off, the relay. This is the potentiometer for adjusting the volume of the plate, audio home street. Once the adjustment has been made, the system updates its value after 5 seconds. These jumpers allow the configuration of the voltage-free contact of the relay. If we want to have it in NO, we will leave it by default, and if we want it in NC, we will change its position. Here we find the tamper. This triggers the tamper alarm on the panel whenever this option is activated on the monitor. This will cause the panel to sound and send an alarm to both the monitor and the app. When we connect the power for the first time to the monitor, it will start a configuration help process that we will have to complete in order to install our kit correctly. We will start by choosing the desired language. Next, we will allow the reception of intercom calls if we want to communicate between the monitors. We will choose the address of the monitor, in our case, master, as we only have one monitor, the one in the kit. In the case of having a secondary monitor, it would be set as extension 1, and so on. If we have a second panel, we can choose to receive a call from it when we select it, and if we want to receive a call to the monitor from the app. In this window, we will connect our monitor to a wireless network for mobile call forwarding and IP camera viewing. Finally, we select the time in our region and set the date and time format. It is recommended to leave the date in auto mode so that it is updated via Wi-Fi. Once the configuration is complete, the device will reboot and is ready for use. In the main menu, you will find the following options. If we click on the panel, we will see the image of the street that the camera gives us. We will be able to make a screen capture, a 15 second recording, activate the door opener, and by means of the F1 button, activate the additional function such as courtesy light or any other function that will have to be wired to the monitor through an auxiliary relay as the 2013 reference. The gallery stores the photos and videos of calls made or captured manually. A red indicator shows how many screenshots or recordings we have pending to view. F1 will activate the additional device connected to the monitor. If you swipe to the left, more menu options will appear. In Wi-Fi, we find the QR code to download the app. From here, we can reconfigure our network, activate or deactivate call forwarding, add a call forwarding delay time, and use this QR to pair our mobile with the app already installed. In Melody, we can select and assign the different tones to identify from which device the call is received. The system has a total of 16 melodies to choose from. You can activate a Do Not Disturb schedule in case you wish to silence calls at any time of the day. In CAM, we can add a maximum of four IP cameras wired by Ethernet. If the cameras go by Wi-Fi, we will have to configure them through the app. In case of adding an IP camera, we recommend to consult the manual for its installation. In memory, we can delete the stored photos and videos, copy the data to the SD, or format the card. Under timer, we will assign the door opening times from the monitor. 
The first icon is the lock release time, the second the relay time, the third the F1 and the last the output button. If we select type T, the output behaves as a buy stable. Each time it's pressed it is activated or deactivated without timing. A 00 time delay indicates that this output is disabled and therefore cannot be selected. By clicking three times quickly on the settings icon, the installer settings will open and you will be able to access all these options. Swipe down to access a menu of quick actions. We will be able to adjust the volume of the monitor's loudspeaker when we are called from the panel, from another monitor and mute the calls, activate or deactivate the Wi-Fi and record or capture the image when someone calls our panel. Finally, we can adjust the brightness of the screen. Thus, we've already seen the possible configurations of our Wi-Fi Plus panel and monitor. Thank you very much for your attention and see you next time.